everybody welcome back to my channel so I'm bringing you a video today because I have been requested about my facial routine and I have a few products that I wanted to show you guys that I've been using um, throughout this year and that I've been enjoying using and that have worked for me so I'm um, getting right into this video because um, this is a long-awaited video that um, a few of my subscribers have requested and I wanted to just provide um, this information so then if you're interested in purchasing any of these items that you can try them out for yourself and see how they work for you but okay so the first thing I like to do is of course wash my face um, so the key um, is definitely getting something that's going to work for your skin type and um, for me I have oily skin so I have a lot of blackheads that I have to um, try to get rid of and so cleansing my face with something that's um, not going to have an oil in it that's not oil based is key for me so um, the first product that I have that um, I use is clear cell and it's just a daily um, facial cleanser and it's a daily clear hydro blast oil free face wash and it's for sensitive skin so I have sensitive skin so I have to be cautious of what I place on my face what I also like to use are face scrubs that is like key for me um, face scrubs because again it helps with blackheads so um, one of my favorite brands that I enjoy using is Neutrogena and they have so many kinds of Neutrogena face scrubs. So if you have oily skin and you have blackheads, if you're very prone to blackheads, then definitely use a face scrub, um, a gentle face scrub to exfoliate your skin and really clean out your pores really, 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 really good. Some astringents that I like to use like after doing either washing my face and exfoliating I'll use aloe vera gel and I uh, put the cotton ball on the like I put some in a, a plate like a paper plate and then I just take the cotton ball and I put it in there and put it all on my face and it's really cold because I keep it in the fridge so after washing my face with warm water and then adding a cold astringent, it just seems like it closes up my pores really fast and it also has a lot of healing properties that aloe vera has in it. Like um, sometimes if you're doing exfoliant, maybe your skin will feel a little bit irritated or dry. So that helps moisturize. So um, the next astringent that you can use or something that I have used and it works for me is the apple cider vinegar and it's just the Bragg's brand here but um, any organic apple cider vinegar will work as long as it has the mother in it um, it's just little stuff that's floating around like at the bottom of the container that's the mother but um I like to use the apple cider vinegar diluted with water with the cotton ball and I just rub it over my face I like to do that after using a facial wash, especially if I wore makeup and I want to take my makeup off. So I'll use like the Clearasil uh, facial cleanser, and then after that, I'll put the apple cider vinegar on my face with the water and just let it sit on my face for a little bit, like dry, and then I'll wash it off with the facial scrub because I don't want my face to smell like vinegar. So that's what I do with that and then on top of that then I'll add like the aloe vera gel I have oily skin so I'm gonna produce natural oils anyway so I don't want to add any other oil that's going to be heavy especially during the day so during the day I love using the simply rich moisturizer that's like one of my staple lotions for my face at least once a week throughout my facial routine is a good face mask so I invested this one, but it's the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. And I love using this when I know my face is like just about to like act out, like I'll see like a pimple rising and I'm like, okay, I don't want it to be bigger the next morning. So let me make sure I do a face mask. So that was really good with face masks and especially when you have oily skin because 
face mask is going to draw out, like especially the charcoal face mask is going to draw out all the impurities of the skin and cleanse the pores really, really good. And it's just like a deep, deep cleanse. And I wouldn't recommend this if you had dry skin to use uh, a scrub every day or a face mask because your skin is going to be even drier. But if you have oily skin, face scrubs and face masks are awesome and they're perfect for keeping your skin looking clear. I do like to use a serum and it's not anything you can just, you know, it's not a serum that a serum that says nighttime serum, it's vitamin E. And I just use an actual vitamin E tablet. I pop the tablet and I put it right underneath my under eyes at night and then of course the excess I put all over my face. Um, because the majority of the nighttime serums that are sold here in stores um, have vitamin E in them and so I want something more concentrated that I know is going to work. So then one more mask that I absolutely love but it's a DIY mask. Um, it's the turmeric face mask that I like to use and that I have been using in conjunction um, once a week with my charcoal mask and I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So if you guys are interested in knowing the recipe to my turmeric face mask, thumbs up this video. And if you're interested in more DIYs, I have a couple of videos that are going to be posted right here at this little eye icon at the top. And if you click that, it'll show some videos, some more recent videos of DIY projects that I've done. To yeah. Check out my giveaway that is still going on until I reach 500 likes on my giveaway video. And make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Thank you all for stopping by. Bye.